what's going on guys today we're going to be taking a look at how to add a gamecube usb adapter by mayflash so that you can use your original gamecube controllers so the first thing you want to do is exit hyperspin either use the toolkit with the exit to windows option or you can go ahead and do it the old way which is by hitting control shift escape on the keyboard and then selecting hyperspin do end task and then go ahead and do new task, type in explorer if it doesn't already say so, and hit OK. Then you're gonna get the same desktop that I have here. Okay, next up you wanna go ahead and make sure that the adapter is in the Wii U mode by using the switch on the back here. You don't want it to be on PC, you want it to be on Wii U. Also, go ahead and connect the controllers up to the adapter. After that, you're gonna go ahead and connect the adapter itself to the back of the computer. There's two USB cables that you want to plug in. Once you do that, on the bottom right, you're going to see that it says that the controller was not successfully installed, and that's okay. That's actually not a problem. I don't have that because I already uh, plugged mine in before ahead of time. So after that, basically, if you have one of these systems uh, that you purchased from me and you bought it after this video was released, you're already going to have this part done. So all you have to do is you go over to the folder next to the start menu, you select emulators, you go to Dolphin Ishiruka GQ. Don't do any of these other ones, just Dolphin Ishiruka GQ. Go ahead and double click on Dolphin.exe. And then you're gonna go to controllers and you're gonna set port one to GameCube adap adapter for Wii, port two to GameCube adapter for Wii as well. And that's all you have to do. You can go ahead and close the emulator, restart, and then use your controllers when playing a GameCube game. Now, remember that the controllers are not going to work in hyperspin. So you're going to have to use either your Xbox controller, the keyboard, your tank stick, your extension controller, whatever it is, to select the game. But once you're in the game, you can go ahead and use the GameCube controllers. Now, for those of you who've had my system prior to this video or anybody that doesn't have my system at all, you can actually get it to work by doing the following. So you're gonna go ahead to this website here. All right, so we're gonna go to, it's a program called Zadig, and it says zadig.akeo.ie. I'll link this below in the description. You're gonna go down and you're gonna download Zadig. You can download it on this computer, on another computer, and put it on a USB drive as long as you get it over here somehow. Okay, so then I went ahead and put it on the desktop, so you're gonna go ahead and double click on it from wherever you downloaded it to, it doesn't really matter. You're gonna go to Options and select List All Devices. After that, you're gonna go to this drop-down menu here and select WUP-028, and just to verify that it says 057E and 0337 right here for USB ID. Yours is gonna say install, mine says reinstall because I already installed it. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. And then it says that it was successfully installed so you can close out of this. And at that point, you go ahead and do the same step I already did, which is open the folder, go to the emulators uh, folder, go to Dolphin Ishiruka GC, select dolphin.exe, and you're gonna to go to controllers and select GameCube adapter for Wii U from the drop down menu. All right, guys, this is gonna be it. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to leave a thumbs up, and I will see you guys on the next one.